Hey guys, how do you do? Welcome to today's tutorial. Today we're going to see how to work with a simple recycler view and of course an array of data. This is a beginner tutorial. A recycler view of course is consisting of cards. So these ones right here, these are cards of course and then our data we're getting them from a simple array. Guys, this is what we're gonna look at. Recycler view and of course array. Welcome, we we'll get started to go ahead create our project with that one go to file new then choose new project then of course you enter your details over there okay before we move on let's come over right here to upgrade the scripts then come to this one right here build or grade module up okay then of course come double click it now once you come right here we'll need to add the dependency that we're going to be using remember for us you're working with a recycler view now for us with a recycler view is the recycler view actually is included in the support uh, design support libraries so because of that one we're going to need come right here make sure that you add this particular dependency okay now take note that whatever you are adding right here must correspond to your sdk version so for instance for me right here whatever you have right here is what okay compile sdk version is make sure that it corresponds to whatever you are having right here you can take note of this one over right here 24.0.0 then our card view as well right here okay so we're having right here a recycler view and then this our recycler view is going to consist of cards of card views so this one right here is going to help us the recycler view this one of course with the card view so please make sure you do that one then come click this one right here to sync our project once with that one we're going to move over to our resources then particularly to our layouts let's come over right here to our layouts of course android Studio is going to generate for us activity main.xml make sure that you add this particular layout over there recycler view make sure that you give it an id okay i've given it this layout with too much parent these are recycler view so please make sure you add it to activity main then you also need to create another layout over here i'm going to have it as module.xml it's a very simple layout this is the layout that shall have been represent a single card view or a single view item in our recycler view for us what it's going to consist of well is simply going to consist of a text view okay so this, this is it we're going to be attaching uh, the source code to this project you shall have it as a reference once you've done that one we're going over to move over right here for us we're going to have three activities active main activity this is activity is right is going to be created for us by android studio of course okay main activity then we're going to have our my view holder my view holder this is a simple class right here what did i say did i say we're going to have three activities no we're going to have three classes not three activities okay three classes activity main that's going to be created for us by android studio that's our first class the second class is our my view holder this particular class rate is going to help us of course uh, hold the views that should be inflating in this case simply this particular text view okay this is going to help us in the process of recycling remember this is a recycler view so we shall only be inflating these are layout once and then uh subsequently we shall be uh, recycling it okay so that's it this we're going to hold the view to be recycled inside this are my view holder then next we're going to have our my adapter this is uh, this particular class right here is going to derive from recycler view data adapter it's the class where we're going to be actually binding our data and also we're going to be inflating this our model.xml layout so guys let's start with the simplest one our my view holder class very simple class what is it going to do for us well we said it's going to be holding for us this particular view right here now first just make sure that it derives from recycler view, view holder then once you've done that one this is going to force you to create a constructor the constructor is take note is taking a view object okay so we come right here we're going to use this particular view object that passed to us to reference uh right here our name txt our text view that's it guys this is our my view holder this is what it's going to do for us once we've done that one then let's move on to my adapter class. the first thing inside this class we're going to make it derive from a uh, recycler view dot adapter okay then within this class we're going to be passing in the context as well as our array of data which is in this case is spacecrafts okay so we come right here these things they shall be passed then we shall store them right here of course they shall be passed to us by the context right here then the moment that you've made your class i derived from recycler view data adapter and then passed uh, my view holder the type right here this is going to make you override a couple of classes a couple of methods one on create view holder 
on bind view holder as well as the get item count so on create view holder this is where we're going to be initializing of course our view holder and then returning it now for us what we're doing is simple we're simply inflating our layout our module.xml so come right here call layout.from then you pass in the context you call the inflate method you pass in the layout now that you want to inflate in this case r.layout.module then you pass in the parent okay parent this is our view group right here and then false false it is asking us if this particular layer that we shall have inflated shall be attached to this our uh, parent our view group we say no then of course we return an instance of this our uh, my view holder by pass and then passing in our v view object that we just inflated then that's it that's our own create view holder inside our own bind view holder this is where we're going to be binding our data to our view holder first we need to pass in our my view holder instance as well as the position so we come holder dot name dot set text we pass right there the scraps then we pass in the index of that particular space crafts it shall be set to our name txt which is our text view get item count gaze is going to simply return space crafts dot length then gaze let's move over to our main activity inside our main activity first you're going to come over right here then declare a recycler view then the array list that shall be binding to a recycler view okay we we'll do that one inside our own create method right here this method shall be called when activity is created first we come reference our list recycler view from our uh, layout our activity main layout by calling the find view by id which returns for us a view object we cast that view object for recycler view then please make sure that you set the layout manager this is set layout manager this layout manager uh we're going to pass in an instance of layout manager then you make sure that you pass in the context now this take note that the layout manager shall be responsible for positioning items in a recycler view in this case we're going to position them in a linear manner you can do that one in several ways for instance you can do it in a grid like manner in a staggered grid like manner generally in th those three ways grid like staggered grid as well as the linear for us we're going to be using the linear layer okay then of course my adapter we come over right here in satiate our my adapter passing in the context as well as the space class and then come set our avoid of set adapter so guys this is it now this is it let's run our project take note that the source code for this particular tutorial we're going to be we're going to be attached it in the description so you shall have it as a reference over there otherwise let's run the project and have a look right here this is what we're getting you can see we're having our simple of course recycler view and of course with our array of data okay this is it guys this is it this is what we've looked at right here we're going to attach the source code below with the link to the source code reference take care i'll catch you in the next tutorial remember to subscribe